Hello, my collective. Welcome back to my channel. It's B Nutcase Casey Nicole. Ooh. Back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network, y'all. I just want to, I don't want to do a reading about um, exes for a while. I know I did What's Their Karma before, but this reading is called Case of the Ex, okay? Because on my Scorpio, um, reading when I sang that song, y'all really seen, y'all really responded to it. So I figured we do a whole reading titled Case of the Ex to see how your energy feels about your ex, how their energy feels about you. Since we're about to go through a Mercury retrograde, we might as well see where the energy is at. So once it happens and you get the urge to go back, you already know, okay? So remember the messages are general and be sure to go what you know because they may not apply to everyone. And remember, time is fluid and moves like water. Ooh, this could be past, present, or future energy, okay? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. I would greatly appreciate it, you guys. Okay, so how does my collective's energy, how does their higher self view their ex? How does my collective's higher self view their ex? Okay, partnerships and alliances. Wow, positive movement forward. What? Did y'all get back with an ex? Okay, because y'all got y'all got partnerships and alliances and positive movement forward. What is this? 137. I ain't mad at you. I'm just shocked. Maybe you guys feel like you, you know, don't want to give up on this partnership. You want it to be positive between you guys. Okay, the meaning of this card denotes that you're now starting to see the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom. Uh-oh. Number three. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for synchronic synchronicities, which could bring opportunities to form connections or unexplained alliances that may create something new. These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. With all partnerships, always remember that there has to be an even exchange of energy, okay? If you give too much, whereas your partner gives too little, Okay, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimum results. This card reminds you that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely sources. Have an open mind when listening to others. So I feel like, okay, I feel like some of you guys feel that there could be positive movement forward between you and an ex. I'm going to put you guys on this side and I'm going to put your ex on this side. Um, I feel like some of you guys think that there could be positive, positive movement forward between you guys and that you all could have some type of partnership or alliance. There's still hope. Okay. I feel like, okay, oddly, I feel like some of you guys may have met someone through an ex that you see positive movement forward with. Maybe there was a business alliance that was made or something that benefited you guys' life through maybe this ex that you're thinking about, okay? But we'll see. Let's see how their energy feels towards you guys. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, like I said, if you have not done so already. And if you already are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So, Guardian Angels, how does my collective's ex view them on an energetic level in the 5D? How does my... Wow, walking away. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely moving forward from an ex. You're trying to keep... I feel like you're trying to keep a positive relationship. You're trying to move forward positively. You don't want to... Some of you guys are thinking that things are going to work out with an ex or you guys are having... Um, or you guys may be breaking ground, getting through to this person. But for majority of you guys, I feel like y'all just want to move on amicably, okay? And they have the walking away card in action here. Wow. 17. So I feel like your ex is feeling as if they're walking away from you, but they're definitely looking back here. And the action card is a lot about um, your mind and the action that your mind wants to take versus the action that your body is actually taking or what your feet are actually doing. Okay, so let's see what their card says, which is number 27, walking away. Okay, so number 27, letting go, moving on. So it looks like both of you guys are moving on. 
But I feel like someone here is holding on, like they may not want to move on. Okay, let me see. This card shows someone walking away, right, from an existing situation. She is closing the gate behind her and is walking away into a misty, unknown future. This card upright reveals that it could be time for you to make a similar decision. Okay, so your ex is feeling like they need to make the decision to walk away here. Okay, I feel like they are feeling that either they need to take action or they need to walk away. Okay, there may be something that you're finished with, perhaps a career goal, a relationship, or a long-term experience of any kind. The familiarity of the situation may be enticing, but you're now ready to look at your options on the open road ahead. In reality, an important new beginning is at hand. This card also indicates that now would be a good time to let go of an old habit, emotional pattern, or false belief. No matter how deeply ingrained a negative pattern may be, you now have the power to release it and move on to a freer, healthier way of thinking and relating to yourself and others. Whether it's in the inner or outer world, this card is telling you that you have the readiness and resources to walk away from the old and move forward now. So I feel like you're viewing the relationship in a way where you just want it to be, I feel like you definitely don't want to break the bond with this person because you value bonds with people. I feel like you guys feel that you meet people for a reason in life. And I feel like you want to move forward positively with this person. If you guys do not want to be with this person, you still want to have a cordial relationship or a cordial alliance with this individual. Okay. But I feel like it's harder for your ex to walk away. Like they are walking away, but they're needing to take action. I feel like they're struggling with their thoughts versus, you know, their feet. Hell, their mind over matter. Okay. I feel like you guys are actually moving on a bit more easily because I feel like you guys are wanting to have a positive connection with this person maybe this person can't be friends with you right now because it's too hard for them mm. but it's like they're walking away but still looking back here okay so let's see some romance angels so guard, guardian angels how do my collective feel about their ex what is their current energy towards their ex pay attention to red flags stay optimistic about your love life so you guys are feeling like, I feel like you guys, it says pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Are y'all knocking on my door? I thought my kids were knocking on the door, y'all. My bad. But y'all are paying attention to the red flags when it comes to your ex. You're not falling for the bullshit. You're not going towards any old, like you're trying not to fall for any old tricks here. So stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like a lot of you guys are walking away. You want to have a positive relationship with this person. You don't want there to be any animosity between you guys. But it's like you feel like you have to move on because either this person is showing you too many red flags or you just feel like it's time for you to move on to something new. But it's like you don't want to be negative I feel like you guys are still open to being with this person, but only if they are more positive, maybe more optimistic, or, you know, maybe maybe they need to, like, okay, flirt and honeymoon is at the back. I feel like y'all are still, I feel like y'all are still dating other people, but it's like, if they decide to act right, y'all are good. You know, y'all will be able to accept this person, or maybe you're like, hey, I won't. You, you're you're collective you're looking at it like hey i'm not god i don't know the future maybe we'll be together someday if this person gets their shit together but right now i just want us to be cordial and i want to move on with my life if this person is not going to step up okay so how does my collective's ex feel currently about the situation oh my god that's way too many. Forgiving and learning. Express your love. Reconciliation. You deserve love. Okay. Let me see. Because that was way too many. Can I just get two cards for my collective's ex? 
and how they feel about the current situation or the way the relationship is currently. Separation. Yeah. They're feeling the separation. I feel like they're feeling the effects of you being gone, collective. Okay. Can I get one more? Wow, true love. So separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So they could, I mean, this could be something that you guys, I told you time is fluid. So this could be something that you guys are thinking about doing. Maybe you're thinking about separating from someone, someone or they just became your ex. Or this has been a long separation that's been, you know, standing here. Okay, but they're thinking about the separation. And I feel like with being in separation with you, they're feeling like you are their true love or they're wanting to find true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I feel like that's how they feel about you. They feel like this is the romance of a lifetime. Romantic feelings, heart to heart conversation. Wow. So I feel like you guys may be out here dating other people, honeymoon, spending the bliss of holiday time together. If you are with your ex, that could mean that you guys are doing this with your ex. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really just out here flirting, dating, you know, being optimistic about your love life, building up partnerships with people, meeting new people and living your life. And I feel like your ex is struggling here, you know, to walk away or that this separation is really taking a toll on them. I, I know that this um action card is talking about Wow, woman holding a heart. They feel like you have their heart. Whether you're a man or a woman, your ex feels like you have their heart. And I feel like they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Like this is their mind. They're rushing to do this. But their body is like literally moving slow. Like this is the Knight of Swords and this is the Knight of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they know they need to talk to you because it's so hard for them to walk away. They're still looking back at this. So let's see what signs could be associated with this particular reading. I just saw the fire card, so maybe Aries Leo Sag. Okay, so what signs are possibly associated with this reading for my collective guardian angels? What signs could this reading possibly be in association with for the X's? What signs are the X's here? Mars. So you could have an Aries or Scorpio. Maybe Aquarius. Can I get two more? Can I get two more signs here for my collective's exes? What are their exes signs? Or they could have Mars and Aries. Okay, Jupiter, which could be Sag or Pisces. Okay, so they could have a Mars in Aries or Scorpio. That could be their sun sign. They could have a sun in Sag or Pisces as well. Or have maybe Jupiter in Aries. Okay, can I get one more? Can I get one more sign for my collective? I feel like a water sign wanted to come out. Ooh, Pluto. See, told you. So there's a Scorpio that keeps coming through here. Like, even on the Monday motivation, there was a lot of Scorpio energy. Gemini is at the bottom. Water is at the back. Told you. Like, I feel like there's a Pisces or a Scorpio here. Possibly a Cancer. So, so we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sag, um, Aries or Gemini possibilities here going on. Okay, so let's do some tarot. Let's see what both sides are dealing with right now. Oh, shit. There's a breakup here. There's a break in communication or a breakup that happened that is really like I feel like it's affecting one person more than the other. This could have been a while ago that this happened and your ex is just now like feeling the effects of this separation. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's see. So let's see how you feel about them and how they feel about you, Guardian Angels. How, do, how does my collective currently feel in their heart, deep down, not the surface shit, that real ass shit, real deep shit. <laughs> y'all feel like y'all ex was creeping, because as soon as I said real deep shit, I heard real creep shit. Some of y'all being sarcastic, okay? <laughs> mm -mm, okay, how does my collective guardian angels feel about their ex? How do they feel? Three of swords, heartbroken. 
Wow, Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're heartbroken. You feel like your ex just basically acted like they did not want you. I feel like you're in this energy now. You're like, ugh, if this person were to come back, I don't even want them now. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. You got two fours right here. And you got the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So despite how much you love this person collective, you guys are just, I feel like, you're just over it at this point. It's like you're trying to rise above this heartbreak. You're trying to rise above the pain that you feel like this person has put you through. You're really trying to meditate here. You're becoming more enlightened. I definitely feel like you guys have been taking a lot of baths. Okay, you could have definitely been to the beach. Um, been in some water somewhere. Okay, but her throne is like one of those wooden chairs. So you could have a lot of like... You know those wooden chairs that look like wicker and throne, like a throne? You guys could have a lot of wicker furniture or wooden furniture in your home. A lot of wood here. I'm just feeling like maybe dark wood, cherry wood. Okay. But you guys definitely could have been doing some type of meditation here with water. Okay. Or close to the water. Because you really feel like you love this person. But it's just caused way too much pain and agony i feel like dealing with their antics dealing with their situations to the point where it's like now you feel like you have to hold back you have to put your love on the back burner and focus on hey what do i have what uh, it's like you gave all of this to this person and it's like those people there's people walking down there like you can't see it it's not gonna focus but these are people and it's like this person is got everything they took all your love they took everything you had and they're sharing it with other people and it's like they never came back to give any of this to you or they tried to give you these little scraps over here and you were just like come on there's nothing more that i can do i feel like at this point you guys do have a lot of love for this person but you're trying your hardest not to hold on to like past memories or pain that this person has caused you you're trying to move forward. I feel like you're really trying to heal. I feel like a lot of you guys can be parents, mothers, or fathers. And you're really trying to be, you're trying to heal your heart so that you can be the best mom you can be. So that you can be the best, you know, friend that you can be. Even if you're not a parent, the best dad you can be. The best child that you can be to your parents in this time of need. That's what you're focusing on. And you're trying to... You, you just wanted to be cordial with this person. I feel like you just want to have peace in regards to this situation. So let's see how they feel about you. But I feel like you're very much still in love with this person, but they cause you a lot, a lot, like way too much heartbreak. Okay. They cause you to really look at love in a fucked up way. That's why you have to stay optimistic about your love life and be so positive because they made you feel like, well, damn, is this what, is this all that love is? Is bullshit? Guardian Angels, how does my collective's ex feel about them deep down within their hearts? Okay. Wow. Seven of Swords and the Moon. So I feel like your ex feels that you guys are keeping secrets from them. Okay. Or you're just very mysterious. I don't think that. Okay. So I feel like they have a nagging suspicion that you may have lied to them or, you know, manipulated them or cheated on them of some type okay been some type of sneaky person i feel like they feel a dark energy over you an energy of uncertainty with this moon card they're not sure how you feel they're not sure if you're good or bad with this white wolf and this black wolf look they're not sure what they should do they're they're fighting with their their light side and their shadow side here to figure out what action to take with you. I feel like they're really confused by you with this moon card. Y'all could be Cancer or Pisces here. Or y'all could be the Scorpios here. Okay, but I feel like... I feel like y'all may be... Y'all could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, an air sign or a water sign. Okay. And this person could be Aries, Sag, maybe Leo, but they could also have some like Scorpio, Pisces in their chart as well. 
But this person is just feeling very unsure, okay? I feel like they're also trying to make a plan here with this Seven of Swords, but they're keeping it a secret. You're hiding. It's like they're looking for you up here on land. Like, you see how this person is looking on the land, but they don't even see you down here. It's like they can't even see you anymore. I feel like this person is kind of panicking here. And they definitely feel like you kept some things from them. I feel like they definitely feel like you may have lied to them, cheated on them. But it's like, wow, see? And I said something about the Knight of Swords earlier. They're not sure if they should come towards you or not. They don't even know. They don't know if they should run and hide. They don't know if they should go towards someone else or something else. Or whether or not they should come towards you at this point. I feel like they don't even want to think about this. Like It's like the thoughts of coming back to you, owning up to what whatever they did, or straightening this out is just too much for this person. Like It feels like they're under attack. Like The crows are coming from them, and they're just running, trying to get the fuck up out of there, out of their thoughts. Wow, this person is really on some mental shit right now. Okay, so what did my collective do in this relationship? What did my collective do? What was their part or their role to play? Okay. Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. Wow. So you risked backtracking. You had a fear that if you stopped talking to this person, you would have to start over. I really feel like that corresponds with the Monday morning motivation but I feel like you felt like you had to move back or you felt like when dealing with this person, you were taking steps backwards in your life. I feel like you walked away from this person. This was your role to play. You walked away from this person because either you had another option or they had another option or the situation was just way too confusing. I feel like there was too many things that could take place here that you just were not feeling at the time. Like, you really didn't know what to do. I feel like you were so confused in this relationship. I feel like your emotions were always up and down because these are cups cards. You got a lot of cups. Like your thoughts and your emotions were on a roller coaster with this person. I feel like maybe some of you guys had another option in mind to where it's like you gave this person a chance first and then you realized that they were not what they were claiming to be and you were like well i got other people that i could talk to other than dealing with this bullshit for some of you you just walked away because you felt like you needed to make a better choice um for some of you i feel like you walked away because there was just too much confusion here you did not know where you stood with this person and that's kind of what your part was to play like you may have had other options i'm just gonna be honest okay Five of Swords and Two of Swords. And I feel like it was a hard decision for you, too. The same way this person had the Two of Swords and they feel attacked or they feel, you know, kind of trapped here in this in this mental energy. It's like you felt that way. I feel like you might have felt that way first. It's like the relationship. It's like you just, you. I feel like you could not. It's like something was in your ear telling you that you could not go on or you could not carry on with this. You had to make a decision and you decided to walk away. Okay. What did my collective's ex do? What part did they have to play in this connection? Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me pick this shit up. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Wow. So, Wow. Wow. So the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords reversed. So this person was on some bald head hoe shit and they just didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck if they was on some bald head hoe shit. You caught them in some bald head hoe shit. Probably you caught them with another. Man, I just feel like this is the type of person who was out doing their thing, got caught in it, and basically did not give a fuck. Told you to take your little monkey ass home. This ain't none of your motherfucking business. Some shit crazy like that. This person just wanted to be free. They didn't want to be held down and their mouth was fucking reckless. They always thought negative as well with this queen of swords in reverse. This person was always thinking negatively, looking at situations negatively, always putting a dark cloud over, over situations. Yeah, they were very combative. And that's why you had the Five of Swords too. 
because you felt like you needed to stand up for yourself because this person was always combating you and trying to get you. They were in a state of wanting what they wanted and doing what they wanted, not caring how their words hurt you, not caring about how their mentality hurt you. And I feel like they weren't even caring about really the truth. It's like, but they know, I feel like they knew what they were doing because of this Ace of Swords. Like this is the part that they played and they knew that they were putting you in it. The, like they intentionally with this Five of Swords backed you into a state of mental turmoil, like purposefully, I feel like to get their way with this Knight of Wands or to feel better about themselves. And it caused you, because you got the two of swords with the five of swords, it just caused you to have a hard time making decisions for yourself. You were going backwards. I told you. This person was trying to make you go backwards in this connection. It was just too much. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. What was the mutual energy between my collective and their ex? Wow. So y'all felt like you were meant to be together. You could have possibly had children together. Wow. Y'all were both angry though. Y'all both wanted your way. Y'all both said some fucked up shit in the past. We gonna be real on my motherfucking channel. I'm not sitting here bashing the other person and I'm not gonna sit here and just bash you. I'm bashing both of y'all motherfuckers, okay? I really ain't bashing nobody. It's really for me to be able to get my point across because the whole point of my channel is to have us become more enlightened as a fucking people. You had a smart ass mouth too. You had a smart ass mouth and you probably talked a lot of shit. Y'all could have had kids together. Okay, you could have known each other from childhood, but I feel like you guys had a bond. You had this soul attachment here. Hold on, you guys. Let me put mutual energy. I'm just writing notes because I have to remember if I do this reading again. But yeah, both of y'all had a lot of love for each other over time. I feel like this could have been a six month long, six year long relationship. But both of y'all had a smart ass mouth. Now, what I will say collective is I feel that you came into this connection with a lot of love in your heart and you tried to show this person the queen of swords, right? I mean, the queen of cups, shit. But this person showed you the queen of swords. I feel like they had a tendency to get in their feelings and you really tried to, you really tried to weigh your options out here, but it's like this person turns you into this negative individual. And I feel like y'all loved each other and you had a deep bond with each other, but it's like, oh my God. King of Cups. So now we got a queen and king of swords and we have a queen of cups and now the king of cups is showing up. Y'all both knew how much love the other person had for the other person. Collective, you knew how much this person loved you. Even if they didn't say it, you knew it. You knew how this person feels about you. You still know how they feel about you, but they never expressed it in a proper way. They always expressed it in a way like, oh, you should already know I care. If you would tell them, like, sometimes it'd be nice for you to give me a hug and say you love me, this person would say, oh, you know I love you. Like, shit like that. And they wouldn't own up to what they did. It's like, but both of you guys knew how much love you had for the other person. See? You knew you guys were soulmates. You knew you guys were lovers. See? It's like a divine connection here, but it was also karmic with this five of cups. There was a lot of sorrow here, okay? So before I get the, before I get to the, can't even fucking talk. Before I get to the outcome and what action this person will take and what action you will take, let me clarify a few cards with my trusty, dusty, OG, rider weight deck. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If y'all hear Sam Cook in the background, my TV is playing. So y'all don't think just somebody's randomly singing old blues and gospel and jazz in my house. <laughs> oh my God. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Like, cause I really just, I want to do a lot more side by sides because I'm tired of that one-sided story bullshit. I'm tired of y'all coming in my comments 
talking all this shit about the other person. No, nah, I don't forget this person. Y'all have some ugly thoughts sometimes. I'm going to be real. I'm not saying that I've never had like hateful thoughts towards somebody, but y'all, why the fuck do you think shit doesn't come to fruition in your life or the things that you want don't populate? It's because you you like, oh, they, they, they getting what they deserve. They might be. And it's fine if you feel like they're getting what they deserve. But don't live your life in that energy, okay? Because it's fucking you up more than it's helping you, my G. Real ass shit, okay? What's the queen of cups? Oh my God, that's too many. Can I get one card for the queen of cups? Yeah, seven of wands. You tried to defend this relationship. You... You feel a lot of love for this person, but you also feel a lot of love for yourself. You feel like you have to protect yourself. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, the queen of cups again. Yeah, you have to love yourself. You tried to defend this relationship, but you figured out that you had to defend yourself and that's how you feel about it now. Okay. Put put you you have to put your love and energy and your time into your own shit. That's what I'm feeling. What's the three of swords? I feel like this person made you wait a lot. Okay, yeah, wow. Damn. Temperance energy. I feel like that seven of pentacles goes over here. You got a seven of wands and a seven of pentacles. This person made you wait a lot. They all, You always had to be very patient dealing with this individual, either with your tongue, with your heart, or with your mind. They. I feel like they caused you a lot of pain just either and possibly juggling you too with this temperance i feel like they gave to this sometimes and then sometimes they didn't and and this could have been an on again off again situation with this judgment card and the page of pentacles okay so what's the seven of swords about for how they feel Ooh, they're unhappy i feel like they feel like you're sneaking away wow queen of wands and they're mad i feel like i feel like your ex is mad that they're still attracted to you or they're mad that they started dealing with a queen of wands another another woman or another man or whatever you get what i'm saying like they i feel like they're unhappy about the person that they chose after you as well so they feel i feel like they're holding a lot of resentment towards you with the seven of swords or maybe they're trying to get away from whoever they were dealing with after they dealt with you or whoever they chose over you. Oh, shit. Yeah, the King of Swords and the Judgment card. They're ready to have some type of new beginning here. They're ready to cut through the bullshit. And I feel like they're unhappy that they see you being... They're still so attracted to you, too. Okay? they're they're And I feel like... They feel as if they made, I feel like they feel as if they made a mistake being sneaky, lying to you, cheating on you, whatever this is with the seven of swords that they feel towards you. It's like they know what they did. What's the moon card? What's the moon card? Two of wands. Wow. They're unsure of what is going to fix this with the justice in reverse and the two of wands. They're not sure of how to fix this. They don't know what decision to make. They don't know if they should stay with this, whoever this broad is, okay? Or or whoever this uh, flunky is, this bastard. And, or, or they don't know how to, even if they're not with anybody, they're just upset that they're still attracted to you. They feel like you're stealing their heart here, regardless of another person. And they're confused as to what to do to make this right. They don't know how to make this right with you. And they're trying to figure that out, okay? What's this Eight of Cups? Wow. Seven of Cups again and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you walked away because things were way too confusing. This person could have asked you, hey, let's take it slow. I don't want to rush into anything. You was like, okay, you know, for a little while. But then you started to feel like maybe you were an option to this person. Maybe this person was not putting forth effort to come towards you because they didn't want to. So you were like, oh, uh-uh, this is too much. This is too confusing. I can't take this bullshit. What's the seven of cups? Wow, yeah, and you didn't know what to do. You were really praying for answers here, okay? I also feel like you, I, I feel like you were praying for guidance here with this title card because 
you were scared. I feel like this has been a situation that has happened to you before. This person is karmically here or was karmically placed in your life to help you to learn a lesson, to help you reach the end of a cycle with this nine of wands. You were nervous. You have been wounded. This confusion has wounded you to the point where you have lost um, the, the mental security within yourself to make decisions. And I feel like it could have definitely turned you to tarot or it could have turned you to, you know, looking for guidance in other places. And, and you also walked away because this person tried to create illusions. Instead of giving you a title, they tried to act like they were scared of a relationship or I'm scared to be in a relationship because I've been hurt so many times. I feel like that's why you walked away too. Yeah, the lovers in the four of wands. There was confusion surrounding this connection. No matter how much you were in love with this person, no matter how much y'all were destined to be together like soulmates, soulmates, soulmates. Look, two of cups, soulmates. Like you knew, I feel like you knew divinely. You knew collective, intuitively. Something told you that this person was meant to be in your life, but it just was not the right time. Or this person just, Basically, like, block their blessings, block their gifts. What's this nine of wands? What's, oh, shit. Six of wands. I'm, it wanted to come out because I couldn't go no further. So, this person could definitely be a fire sign here. Possibly a Leo. Libra, maybe. Leo is here again, but it's in the reverse. Someone who's, someone who's having a hard time with attention. Okay, with this six of wands. Can I get one more for the... What's the Six of Wands and the Nine of Wands? Wow, the Death card. Yeah, it's like they're having a hard time ending their need to get attention here. Okay. They're having a hard time getting out of this energy of being independent or being by themselves. Like this fear of commitment. It's like this person just wanted to be free. They didn't want to be tied down to anyone. And whenever you would bring it up... They would just yell at you or deflect on you or blame you for something that was their own internal fear. They they want to be the center of attention. They don't, I feel like they don't want that to end. But it needs to end because it's a major like blockage within this person's life. They're going to definitely, they definitely get a lot of attention. They pos possibly have a lot of friends. They could definitely have some type of major following on social media, but... I'm just saying, this is what's going to be this person's downfall, this vanity here. This person, the part that they played, they were too motherfucking vain. And they got too much attention from outside parties. And they didn't want to cut that shit out. That's the part that they played. They didn't want to cut out the outside shit, the ball hair hoe shit, the, the, the pridefulness, the ego. They wanted to be the one in control of their happiness with this emperor and the ten of cups. Definitely could be an Aries, Leo, Libra, Sag. Okay, but this is somebody who's just, or Cancer, Pisces. But this is some Scorpio too. This is somebody who just wanted to be in control of everything. Like, they're, if they were going to be happy, they were going to be happy their way. And that was by fooling around and doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. They, they felt like they were in control of their happiness, but I feel like they're realizing now that they can't be, they can't control what life is going to put in front of them or how, how they need to change. They can't like be this ugly person and still get what they want out of life. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. What's this queen of swords in reverse? Whoa. See, five of swords. And I feel like. I feel like whenever you brought this up to this person, whenever you brought up their shortcomings or what type of shit they put you through emotionally, they would argue you fucking down. They will have a million vindictive things to say. They will call you out about all your shit. I'm not saying that you was perfect and you didn't have shit, but this person wasn't perfect either. And they tried to make you feel horrible about your own shortcomings when they were the ones who were, who were being fucked up. And who were, who were living off pride, operating off pride and ego and not off of what their intuition was telling them. Just being a bitch or a bastard, like complete asshole 
And it's like, I feel like they would always threaten to walk away. Oh, I could go find somebody better than you with this judgment card. Oh, you, you, you ain't that great. Like telling you about yourself, this shit that you doing. Like if you would bring anything up, they would just, yeah. And it could, it could be that this person makes more than you, or it could be that you maybe were dependent on this person. This could have definitely been your husband or wife. Okay. I feel like some of you guys could be divorcing from this person. And with the justice in reverse, I feel like they don't want that, but they're keeping it a secret. They're trying to figure out how to like revert, reverse this divorce. But they were very controlling. And I feel like they use money to manipulate you guys. They use, they, they use their power to kind of like control the conversation in this relationship and be able to go out and do what they wanted in the relationship. And you just and it, and that's why it ended because the universe was like no that's bullshit. What's the six of cups doing here for the mutual energy? Wow, King of Swords. What what else can I say? What's the King of Swords? Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like both of you guys are looking back on the past right now though. Both of you guys are kind of looking back on past memories, possibly reminiscing about the good times. And I feel like, Collective, you're angry that you still have to think about this person. Like, you just want them to be out of your mind, okay? I feel like you guys are wishing that you could go back to the old times, but it's like you're not allowing yourself to have these thoughts or, 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 or to think these things because you already know what comes with it. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Nine of Cups. Yeah, y'all, but y'all both, it's like y'all both talk to each other kind of fucked up. Wow, I didn't know that Ace of Pentacles was right there. What's this? See the Five of Wands. I feel like y'all both were very stuck up here. Y'all both did not want to budge. Let's be real. Neither one of y'all wanted to compromise. Both of you guys in the past wanted your way. Both of you guys threatened to walk away from the other person. Okay. And both of you guys were throwing it in each other's face about how many other people that the person could get. If you were mad about some, something this person was doing, you were coming to them telling them, like, I know you're talking to other people. You ain't even got to do me like that because, like, I got other people I could be talking to, too, but I choose you. Like, it was that type of conversation. I feel like y'all both were just in this energy of, like, pushing each other away and, and yeah and really really not expressing with this two of swords and this nine of swords really not expressing what the fuck was really up like how y'all was truly feeling okay so let's see what the possible outcome could be because i'm not gonna clarify those oh wait let's see future actions my bad so guardian angels for my collective and y'all be sure to like share and subscribe so for my collective, moving forward with this X situation, what future actions will my collective take? What future actions will my collective take towards their X? What future actions? Okay, Knight of Cups. See, I feel like y'all just want to smooth things out. Oh, shit, the Empress. I feel like y'all just want to smooth things out with this person so that you can grow, so that you can have control back of your life. You guys may come to this person and say, hey, we need to talk. Let's just straighten it out. I feel like you feel that this is a partnership, a life partnership that you don't throw people away. And collective, I feel like y'all are on some real inspirational shit right now. You know, trying to come together because of the times that we're in so that y'all can move forward with your lives positively, whether it's together or not. And I feel like that's what this energy is right here with this Knight of Cups and this Empress. And it could be because, like I said, this person could have been, you know, ex-husband, ex-wife, baby mama, baby daddy, common law. Y'all know how it go. And you just want to make it good for the kids, make it right for the kids. Yeah, you just want to move forward with truth with this Knight of Swords. You just want this person to bring the truth and you want to bring the truth to this person. And I feel like you don't want it to be too heavy either. You just want to keep it light. Okay, so what actions will my collective's ex? Okay, Scorpio, damn, two of swords. I was going to say what actions are they going to take towards you? 
but I feel like they are, okay, they're trying to move on from old cycles. They just don't know how with this two of swords. I'm going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. And y'all don't get in my motherfucking comments talking about don't get in the benefit of the doubt. No. I feel like this person does want the same thing as you. They definitely want a new beginning, but they're not as far along on their journey as you. Because they don't know how. They don't know what to do. They have two here twice. They're indecisive. And they're not sure how to move this forward. So I feel like it may be up to you guys to take some responsibility. If you know that's the common goal. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to communicate this with you though. Yes. Eight of Wands in the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they're being pulled by the divine. They're being pulled by the universe to make this shit right. With the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like your ex could definitely reach out and communicate with you. What I see and what I feel, what I'm hearing in my head is that some of you guys are going to need to to extend the olive branch first. And that's what's going to open up this person's communication and willingness to move forward because they don't know what to do on their own. They're just trying to they're just trying to put an end to this and figure out what's the next step in their life. They don't even know what's the next step. And sometimes we have to understand that sometimes we have to be givers and sometimes we need to take. So if this person needs help moving forward, you may have to be that catalyst to get this person to open up and speak to you and be open to moving forward if that's what you truly want. Okay. By you reaching out, it could bring them the strength to move forward and be, and, and be able to have y'all be in a happy place here. And they may bring an apology to you. Okay, but sometimes we have to be the bigger person here. And I feel like that's what this is saying, because this person doesn't know what actions to take. They're at a loss here. And that's what I really feel, because they're more so stuck on the love aspect. They're not focusing on the lesson. And I feel like you may need to bring the lesson to their eyes. If you've already tried that, okay, this could be past energy. You may just need to learn some things within yourself. But I'm just being real, okay? So what is the possible outcome between these two guardian angels? What's the possible outcome between my... See, teamwork. Three of Pentacles. Wow, three of Pentacles and the two of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys just need to keep in mind that... What I just heard, y'all just need to keep in mind that everybody... This is a working progress, okay? Working progress is what I kept hearing echoing. This is a working progress. You have the Eight of Cups going to the Seven of Cups, right? Now you have the Three of Cups going, to, I mean, Three of Pentacles going to the Two of Pentacles. I said in the beginning that you guys feel like you're moving backwards with this person. So you're going to, I feel like you're going to continue to feel like you're moving backwards with this person. If you've already reached out, that's what that is. You feel like you're moving backwards because maybe they didn't, receive it well but i feel like they're processing it and i feel like now that you've already if you've already reached out don't do no more that's all you can fucking do you have to allow this person to learn their lesson on their own okay and one day they will figure it out but just know that everybody's not going to be on your journey at the exact time that you're on your journey like everybody's not going to be on their path in the same place that you're on your path and i feel like there, I feel like your household at least is going to be restored with this Ten of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands. I feel like the outcome is that you guys are going to put in teamwork here, but there's still going to be some unsure feelings. There's still going to be some doubts as to whether or not this relationship is actually going to prosper. If this is somebody who you still want to be with, I just feel like there may be still too much confusion between you guys, okay? Okay. But I feel like ultimately you're going to be feeling very prosperous and good about yourself collected with this Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to continue to focus on your well-being and move. Up. You got two tens right here. You're going to move past this, release the pain and focus on working on yourself, making your own decisions. So what is the advice for my collective in this situation with their ex? Wow, justice. So if y'all felt like it was the wrong move, filing for divorce, taking this person to court, child support, I feel like you made the right decision. Wow. Now we have an emperor and an empress out here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, both in reverse. Both of y'all had each other's minds fucked up. That's all I'm saying. 
And you got all these major arcanas here. So I feel like your advice is just telling you you're moving on the right track. You will feel vindicated from this situation. You will feel justified in this situation when you continue to take control of your life. Continue to take control of your finances. Start a business. Do whatever it is that you told yourself you were going to do when you were with this person, but you felt hold, held back. Okay, King of Pentacles. I feel like y'all are needing to focus on your money. I feel like the advice is definitely yes. Focus on the blessings that God has given you and focus on your coins right now. I feel like it's not time for you to be in a relationship right now. And that may not, you know, that may not be what everybody wants to hear. But I feel like that's the truth of the fucking, you know, situation. Okay. And I've just come to the realization that my fucking videos are long. If you don't like long videos, then maybe this ain't the channel for you. Because I'm not going to switch up myself and I'm not going to rush spirit. I'm not going to rush my mind or my energy or else I'd be giving you false information. And that's. That's unlawful, um, unlawful? No, that's unethical. There we go. So let's see what hidden truths. Okay, we'll see what this person got to say. Let's see what this person has to say that they don't, they either don't, won't, or can't tell you. Party angels, what does this person want to say to my collective? I love you unconditionally. Boom. Can I get two more? See, I told you I am becoming a better person. This person is on a journey. They just, I feel like they're just at the beginning stages and they're realizing the things that they did by this sun card and this queen of wands. They could be realizing that another woman was a mistake. They could be realizing that lying or cheating on you was a mistake. They could be realizing that not appreciating your beauty or your gifts was a mistake, okay? But they're learning lessons here. They're becoming a better person. Can I get one more card? And that's all we're here to do, like as people. Wow. 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 Okay. This person really doesn't want you to know that they communicate with you through music. God dang it. They still ain't letting me pick up the fuck y'all. Okay. <laughs> or, or they feel like you speak to them through music. Wow. You speak to them through music. That's what they feel. They said, I hid who I really am from you. And I'm afraid to contact you. See, they don't know what to do. So what does my collective want to tell their ex that they either can't, don't, or won't say? What do you, I'm going to see what you guys want to tell your ex. Finding out the truth crushed me. And I feel like you guys are needing to express yourself if that's how you truly feel and you haven't spoken to this person. Don't be afraid to tell them, yeah, you fucked me up. You fucked me up by your fucked up actions. Yeah, I learned some lessons, but finding out the truth hurt me. And you have to understand, they have to understand that they're out here hurting people. And that's what's going to help them continue to become a better person. Can I get two more? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Mm. So y'all did have a rough time letting this person go. But you're doing it because you feel like you have to move forward and be positive. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for what my collective... Ooh. Okay, so y'all want to say two more things. You like, no, this is me, okay? Wow, you said we need to let each other go. Wow. And I feel like that's why you want to move forward positively. I feel like on a spiritual level and on an, um, a physical level, you feel like you guys need to let each other go. And you ooh, you saying I'm not available. So you done found somebody else collective. Okay. 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 <laughs> I feel you even though we are apart and just being near you is intoxicating. So you definitely still feel for this person. But you're like, no, even if you haven't found anybody, you're saying I'm not available because you can't deal with that shit anymore. Like, no. Okay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this case of the X reading. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed and don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye, collective. See you next time.